In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Rode Wireless Go 2 to iPhone 14. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to give you easy to follow instructions on how to properly set up your Rode Wireless Go 2 on your iPhone 14. Assuming that your iPhone model has the Lightning port, then you will have to use the Lightning to USB-C cable. This is because it cannot be connected directly. So if needed, and your iPhone 14 indeed has the Lightning port, you will need to use this adapter. So acquire this cable adapter from Rode or any other means. Once you have the Lightning to USB-C cable, you will need to power on the wireless go to, so make sure that the transmitter and receiver are powered on, and now you will be able to connect the receiver to your iPhone. Use the Lightning to USB-C USB-C cable to connect the receiver to your iPhone's Lightning port. Once it has been successfully connected, you will need to pair the transmitter and the receiver. If they haven't been paired before, follow the instructions in the user manual to pair them up. Now enable the audio input. So on your iPhone, go to settings, camera, and usually you will be able to go down and enable microphone. And now you can use the wireless go to to record audio for your iPhone. The audio will be captured by the transmitter's microphone and transmitted to the receiver, which is then connected to your iPhone. Ensure that you are using a high quality certified lining to USB-C cable to avoid any connectivity issues or audio quality degradation. Make sure that your iPhone's iOS version is up to date to ensure compatibility with the wireless go to and you will be able to connect it to any iPhone model that you have. To my knowledge, Rode provides the USB-C to Lightning cable themselves, so you will be able to find it officially on their website, and this is going to be the best option possible for you to use your wireless go to. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect Rode Wireless Go 2 to iPhone 14. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.